This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Do something different here. Oh Lord, man! Now, what what about this for? Okay, so we are about an hour and a half show, uh, not including commercial times. We're 17 minutes into showing you shit, and this is the only. Well, of course, we showed Flair and Steamboat. Yeah, but, that counts. Flair and Steamboat counts. Yeah, and that counts. But this, I mean, it's just kind of a, a kind of a clunky show, I, I, I think. I got to tell you. And up I'm, on the torch rock, I don't think anybody's buying this. Can you believe the actual Clash of the Champions? Like, you know, if you were live in the crowd that day, you didn't see Steamboat Flair and then go home. Or maybe you did. But there were two matches after. Sting and Rip Morgan for the oh. world TV title. And then this match Luger and Jack victory for the U S title. Can you imagine having to, if you're Jack victory and you know, you're wrestling Lex Luger and you're passing flair and steamboat as they come back through and you're like, I'm fucking up next with <laughs> that guy. I don't, can we, but can I, can, um, okay. Interesting match here. They're, they're showing Luger again. This is against Kendall Wyndham. Uh, interesting. Well, watch out Kendall going through the ropes. Interesting, uh, rules to this match. Uh, large perks on the line, a large briefcase, of uh, facially minted $20 bills to the winner. You know, the thing about Kendall William is he's a missed opportunity in wrestling. This guy was literally printing money. Yes, he was. And no one else was at that time. Nobody was printing money. This motherfucker's out here printing money and we can't figure out what to do with him. No, we're going to get him in there and have him put over old, old shrimp fingers. <laughs> hey, th this is a interesting hard camera shot here. What I mean, the steady camera, the, the main camera is kind of low. I like it. it. I do too. It's almost, this is almost like the old WWF studio days back in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Absolutely. Early days, man. When yeah. Vince first got the book. Right. This is how the, this is how the, the shot look, the main ring shot. And I, I like it too. I, I like it a lot. It's uh we're, we're at center stage by the way, which is, yeah. I think one of the best looking, I know you hate it, but I'm just saying as a fan, the presentation of it, the way it looks on camera where it's just a bowl of fans all the way around. That's cool. It looks cool on TV anyway. You know, there was discussions at one time when we were always talking in AEW about, you know, where we're going to shoot, you know, what we're uh, during this time where we, we need a place to shoot and we can't have fans. And someone said, what about center stage? And I went, fuck center stage. Why are you so adamant about fuck center stage? Because it's a rat hole. It is literally a rat hole. Okay. It is. Wait a minute. And I, I know they've had some, they've had some great acts in there. I know NXT has been in there. But hang on now, buddy. Let's just talk through this. All right. There's at least a wrestling legacy to that building. It's not so, a good one. So let's just go run it in QT Marshall's goddamn gym. Yes. Okay. Let's uh, run it, run it in my fucking backyard, which is kind of like, uh, well, you couldn't do that. Cause nobody's terrorist. allowed in the goddamn house. Lois is ashamed of the landfill. It's getting better. Has it gotten better enough to find my fucking six man belt? Well, the six man belt's been put on hold. What? What does that mean? Yeah. Well, uh, Batman Arkham Asylum arrived on PS4, so I'm kind of busy with that right now. Into the ropes we go. Good leap, Brock by Lex Luger, and a pick up Kendall Wyndham. Oh my God! Oh, he fuck. calls this move the counterfeit. Oh, he's got him up. He's got his hand in his ass and his hand on his boobs. These fuckers don't know what to do. Jesus Kendall says, Christ. "I ain't going through this shit." And Luger puts him on the ropes. What the fuck did we just see? <laughs> Don't know. We is, saw Luger want to put him up for the fucking rack, and Kendall said, fuck that. This is a taped show. How did that not get edited off? We didn't edit back then. We didn't know what the fuck we were doing. Track it. We should have. That's our oh, new, that's, that's my new thing here on the show. I like to yell the phrase, track it. Track it. I like that, too. How about no guardrail? Yeah. How, about, well, how about no mats? Hey, get up, Lex. Come on. Come on. Get up, Lex. Get up. I touched Lex Luger. I'm going to walk out. Heck with that social distance and shit. I touched his ass. Oh, look at that motherfucker walking around with a hat on. Is he, is he a camera? Or are they just letting him walk around? 
Well, this is up close and personal, this action, isn't it? Yes, it is. Kendall Wyndham, what do you think he weighs here? Uh, he probably weighs like uh, 210. <gasps> Kendall William looks like, I mean, Kendall Wyndham here looks like he's like uh, Jungle Boy Jack's fucking uncle. <laughs> Does he not? Yes. As Jungle Boy Cecil or Fred. Jungle Boy Jerry. <laughs> Jungle Boy Jerry Perry. If there's yeah, a I like that better. That's good. <laughs> mm. Man, that's a missed opportunity. Oh, he could have been printing money. I guess it was. Mm. <laughs> oh, how about God. your referee here, young ass Nick Patrick? Mm. There's some. Uh, I don't know. Somebody sent me. I don't know if you did or not. Uh, and I turned around and sent it to, uh, to Cody and Dustin, a link to a, uh, a picture of you and dusty. And then a picture of you and Cody. No, it, not that it was a, it was a video of me, uh, holding the microphone for dusty and he was with baby doll. And oh, there's some women said, yeah, that's shut right. We don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear it. Those ladies, there are two ladies, two older ladies that hated dusty. Now they are in this arena. I've just seen them. They're on ringside, front row, right side. And they came to every event and they hated Dusty. And they were like two, uh, one was elderly. One was like uh, just a 50, 60, something like that. And they hated Dusty and he knew it. And they started that chant. And, and I, I remember that moment clearly. And I remember, who the hell is this? Hey, hey, come on. My God. Pay. Can you believe what Michael Hayes is wearing right now? He's a leather, white, uh, leather or vinyl pants and a red crop top. And he had a jacket on. This is just the craziest look. And it, you know, it's crazy if we're saying Michael Hayes is dressed crazy. Yeah. So anyway, what did the boys think of, uh, get your fat ass out of here then. <laughs> I, I don't know because I was still. I was still in the back. I mean, I was still in the front. They were on the back, but everybody had a good chuckle after it was over with. I meant the Rhodes boys that you sent it to this week. Oh yeah. They all laughed at it. Yeah. All right. That's, that's about it. You know, uh, smile emoji. Or hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.